Hello everybody and welcome back to the video on Sword Fighter Simulator. Now in today's video we are going to be going over this new quality of life update and some other stuff such as me ascending all the way to finally becoming an undead which is a 2.7 QA multiplier and that is going to boost me like amazingly to where I can start catching up hopefully get at least somewhere to start catching up to these guys in TVG, which I doubt. And hopefully I could get closer to doing better carry streams for you guys, because currently I'm not strong enough to do much of that. And uh, I just realized how far down I've been dropped in egg hatching from me not hatching too much anymore. Uh, but other than that, I want to go with the codes that just came out and what this new quality of life update was. Now in this update, they did fix these spin shops. Um, supposedly the thing they changed to it was they added an auto spin. The OP mount drop rate was also um, massively buffed by like a 10X. They increased the mount by um, its speed to 65. So now it's actually one of the fastest things guys, this mount right there. Uh, it is a 65 speed, which is amazingly like crazy like this is how fast I go with the Hermes and this Hermes is a 45 speed So imagine that uh, keep in mind. There is another like bird mount besides that one. It is uh, The one you get out of the new place. I think Palazzo Meadows. It's like some Phoenix or something. I don't know some robot bird uh, But that is really dope. I hope I could get it sometime in a stream uh, and then hovering over relics chest to see the odds. So let's say for example, we go into here Right here. We'll see that we actually could see a cupid bow now keep in mind No one knew about this cupid bow because of its chance. No one has this yet So we don't know what the stats are. I haven't seen anyone else get it But hopefully within the time of me doing multiple runs of this battle. Sorry Valentine's event um, Season pass I could hopefully get it on a stream for you guys and show you guys what it does. I mean, we're close to finishing the quest right here. As we can see, I'm about to get 250 XP. Actually, I could claim the Corrupted Shards one and let's see how much tears I got for that. Uh, as you guys know, also, I have given away some uh, season passes in my Discord server. So make sure to join up in that if you haven't already. I do do giveaways in that and I plan on doing more because I'm trying to give back to you guys. Uh, other than that guys, uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys who like my videos uh, if you enjoy them and I appreciate all the people who subscribe because we are close to 3,000 and honestly aiming for 10,000 by the end of, um, I don't know, this year. Other than that though, let's go over the other stuff that they have added and uh, then I'm going to hopefully show you guys how powerful I am when I ascend. Um, which currently right now, as you can see, I get 9 uh, VG PPS per click. And I currently only have, well these aren't bad relics necessarily, but I do have a Rune of Rupturing and this Prismatic Stone from the not too like bad dungeons obviously i need to get the room 40 uh, secret relic and all that or the room 48 uh, mythical which i will be making videos on guys reviewing over that um but i don't have those yet so this is how much power i get per click and i could have better uh enchanted weapons because as you all know tiny five and god are one of the best things to have especially as a combo because of the speed and the power increase and it having all the other stuff and sadly i lost all of those enchants but i could um do more enchants honestly sooner or later one thing i also want to go over as well guys is if you have noticed i do have a magma stone and i think they did decrease or increase the drop rates for these stuff uh in the areas for what they are because they're honestly pretty hard to i guess get as drops which i only got one out of the like what six blood moons i've done i did get it off of a beast titan while i was farming during a blood moon which is the only time you guys can get these as drops is during blood moons and you do need 15 so i still need to get a titan fall so by the time i get that i'm honestly probably gonna have seven of these i hope or at least closer so i could make another video on that and show you guys how strong this titan fall actually is um or sorry the what was the secret called the hell molten's hammer I can show you guys how strong that thing is and hopefully I could be one of the first people with it but I doubt that um, I've also gotten pretty much a lot more secret pets over time if you guys have watched my videos and like other updates you've noticed I had like a full team before and 
like this long into an update but that's all I got right now that's still really good and I still have all these power potions that I haven't used and I plan to uh, this season pass really does give you a lot of stuff guys so uh, if you want a chance to win definitely join up in my discord now let's go see what other stuff we have because I know they fixed the secrets um, they fixed some bugs and they also added icons which I think are honestly dope now because if you guys can see here we have an icon for enchanted which is a dismantle we have aether cities um what what is this again the celestial machine yeah and then demon hills enchant and shiny so those icons are dope especially for new players uh over time they'll see something now to wonder about i guess um but yeah let's get into this new code guys i got you guys with this new code we're gonna go into the shop here we're gonna go to codes we're gonna go to redeem now if you guys do not see what i put here in announcements of their discord they also put it we have sorry shut one and as you guys can i'm just going to remind you use this valentine code it is i think a luck potion i don't know it's 15 minutes something like that so definitely do that other than that guys that's going to be everything for the code and that other stuff um hopefully this helped you guys sort of see what this quality of life was really about um what changes they added and yeah Hopefully I can see you guys once I ascend, so I'll skip to you guys once I am. Alright everybody, now we are back and we now have enough to ascend. We finally made it and now we have ascended to a undead. Um, just undead. And now we are getting a ton of power way quicker. We are getting about 2 point... what? Damn. About 3 VG power per click. Uh, and all in total we get around 40 VG. Now this is without uh, obviously a power potion going so we'll probably have double of that and once I get better swords and better enchants I'm definitely be getting my power way faster than before I mean look we're already about to hit 1 DV or UVG and then we'll slowly and slowly keep rising so that's definitely uh, amazing and it shows a big difference between ascending and how big of a difference undead is compared to the previous one and i don't know if apex is still the last strength you guys can get if anyone can remind me of that um in the comments but other than that guys that's going to be the end of the video i appreciate you guys all for staying tuned all the way to the end like and subscribe if you haven't already till then guys peace out and have a good one